The power of PathFix automation comes from our API building module. The API builder allows you to build your APIs and essentially call any web API that is made available to you. So in this video, we'll do a quick walkthrough on how the API builder works. Uh, we'll go through a few quick scenarios of how to build a simple API, um, how you can build a more complex API with payloads and how you can chain multiple APIs. So let's get to it. Let's take a look at how the API builder looks. You click on APIs in the bottom here to access the API builder. Click on new API. Give your API a name. And click on API here to launch the builder. In the builder, you would see you have the standard options that allow you to select from the method, which is post, get and other methods available. You add the uh, provider endpoint right here. There is a body available for you to attach a payload. If the call requires for you to have query params, you can access those here as well. And you can also add as many rows as you want as required by that provider or the call. Uh, there are headers available as well for you to add. You could also add dynamic values to either your URL, the header, the body, and this would be used under dynamic values in the next day. What you could also do is you can import a configuration from your existing um, library, or you could import it from a JSON that has been shared by someone else, or export the JSON that you have so someone else could use the JSON and the API configuration you have built. Let's go ahead and add a simple API call. Uh, we click on new API, give the API a name. In this case, we want to list Google calendars that I have in my account. Click on API to open the API builder. Uh, this would be a simple get method with a URL endpoint. Uh, there is no payload that is required, so I simply go ahead and initialize through connections. In the connections, I've already authorized my Google Calendar account. I select that and continue to initialize. Once the initialization is complete, you'd see that the response has come back along with the data. I click on use and I just go to options. Under provider, I search for Google Calendar so the icon shows up. This would be an action and I hit save. And that's it, the API is now ready for use in my automation. Let's go ahead and build a more complex API with a few payloads. All right, so let's click on API and new API. For the purpose of this example, we'll use TrueMail, uh, where we will validate an email and then get the response back. We are processing this via the PathFix OAuth module, but you can of course use your own system if you have or any JSON that you are getting at your end. So once we get into the builder, we'll uh, add the URL. This would be in this case, of course, it's a PathFix URL, but you can use your URL. Uh, this is the payload. The dynamic value there is the email that we want verified. In uh, this specific case, since PathFix needs a few query params, including uh, the user ID, public key and private key, this information would need to be uh, can be added in the query params section. So uh, the PathFix OAuth module needs a user ID. So I just add that there. This would be dynamic field as well because we want it to be pulled up for the particular user. We add a public key. In I'll just add some public key and the private key. So essentially this can be changed to whatever, um, whatever the API requires. So if you're calling your own API to process this, um, you can actually just add your public key and private key. Okay, let's go ahead and initialize. This would be an initialize, not initialize through connection. So there are two dynamic fields, there is user ID and the email. Uh, just for the purpose of initializing this call, we'll uh, put in our email address here because that was the one that we're using internally. The email ID that we want validated is, we'll just put a sample here, support at truemail.io. 
we'll continue to initialize so this call essentially is going via pathfix OAuth and returning the data you see that the result has come back it's valid and the status of the email that we wanted verified is um, is valid click on use go to options again just to select the provider icon this again would be an action we'll click on save that's it this API is now ready for you to use in your automation Let's create another API that uses the data from a previously saved API that we've had. So this essentially would link a previously saved API and get the data from that to this API. So in this case, let's get uh, the Google Calendar uh, events that we have. Essentially, what we want to do is uh, pull up the events for a particular calendar. So we'll do a get here. Now, this specific calendar events requires an ID. Now this ID essentially is called through a previous API that we saved. So we'll just pull up the connection. The user ID, since it's a dynamic value, what we want to do is um, for now, just to initialize, we'll, we'll just put in my email address here because that's the one that I have synced. Instead of free text, we'll do get data from API. Now here you would need to select the API that calls the Google Calendar uh, endpoint which gives us the ID to complete this API call the option is what the user would see so in this case I want him to see a summary and the value behind this is the ID so that is what would be linked against the option I click on initialize to process it and it's done it's completed the call and returned the values as well just same process click on use options I'll just select the icon that I want to show this again would be an action I hit save so what we have essentially done is call an API using data from a previously saved API I could just go ahead and use the get Google Calendar events API directly in my automation that would link to a previously saved API